Okay. Well, you do. You're gonna send it, right? Uh, yeah, it will go out to our list. Thanks. Okay. All right, guys, we got coach here who's going to lead it off and then uh, remember to use the raising hand feature. Thank you. Appreciate you being out of the great college basketball game in the Big Ten. Um, you know, third place to come in and play. You know, Greg Gard does as good a job as any coach in the country. This is a place that we haven't had much success here. Um, but, you know, just real proud. I mean, every guy kind of did something. I mean, Ron stretches it out for a loose ball. Paul makes the layup. Caleb gets six, you know, steals. And, you know, he holds arguably the best scorer, one of the best scorers in the country to 11. Um, Cliff, huge rebounds and free throws. Geo does what Geo does. Ron, um, you know, every guy came in. Every point was huge. You know, it's a 40-minute league. Jalen Miller gives us great lift defensively. Dean Reaver comes in, gets us a basket. You know, just a great, you know, great college basketball game. We're, you know, fortunate. Again, great guard in, in Wisconsin is the real deal. So, um, pleased to come out of here with a win. Jerry Carino. Yeah, Steve, what did this uh, What did this win tell you about this team's resiliency and focus to come off two big home wins and then play like this in this type of environment? Yeah, I mean, you know, I've been telling you guys I like this group. They practice the right way. They're, you know, when they defend and they did in the second half, we did a really good job of not fouling first half. I thought, again, fouls hurt us. Um, but we got, you know, Illinois next. So um, this whole league is great, ranked, not ranked. It doesn't matter. Every team's really good. You got to play well. The guys are playing good basketball. And, you know, we can go on to the next one, Jerry. Brian Fonseca. Steve, you touched on the defense. Just Caleb McConnell seemed like he was pretty much everywhere on the court, making plays, diving for balls, getting steals. Just his not only today, but his three weeks, his, his week long stretch in the last, uh, his three game stretch in the last week. Just how has he taken it to another level? How good has he has he been in Europe? I mean, you know, I, I'm saying he, he had a goal to be the defensive player of the year, and you know, I mean, he's had 14 steals in three games against like terrific teams, and you know, again tonight he had the a real task and he, he wanted it. You know, Johnny Davis is an elite score, 37 points he had at Purdue, which is unbelievable. It tells you how good he is. Um, and, you know, we, we had to do a good job on Brad Davison too, because he's another guy that's hurt us through the, through the years. And um, thought Paul did a really good job on him. Um, and then those guys came in, but, you know, Caleb's, you know, a good player and uh, see how important he is too. Um, he does a lot of things that don't show up. You see some of the things that show up in the box score, but the fact that he always wants the best player is really, really uh, comforting for a coach. Bobby Darren. Steve, you guys seem content to dribble the ball down uh, low into the shot clock. Can you just talk about what went into that game plan uh, on the offensive end? I mean, no, that's not what we we're trying to do. I mean, we, we were fouled a lot, and so we had to walk the ball up. You know, we, we always want to run. They, they play at a pace, though, that doesn't allow that. They never turn the ball over. Um, but we can win games like this, too. So I like this team's versatility. We figure out a way, you know, to win. And, um, you know, it's never about we always have enough points to win. It's, you know, holding the team who scores a lot of points here at home to under their average and not fouling. That's how we were able to, you know, win the game. Jerry Carino. Yes, Steve, you, you mentioned when we talked a couple of weeks ago that it was all it's a, a lot of this is about not a lot of it, but a big part of defensive success is about slowing down the other team's best player. How has your team been able to do that so well? And is, Caleb obviously plays a big part in it, but it's not just him, right? I mean, everybody. I mean, Ron had tough matchups today, too. We had to sit down and guard a lot of people. He was in foul trouble. We had to play through that in the first half. Gio was in foul trouble. You know, this league just brings – you know, so many obstacles, you know, and uh, some you can plan on and some you can't. I told our guys just keep, you know, staying the course, trying to go one and all. And I know you guys think that's, you know, that, no, that's what we do. That's what we do. And uh, we try to go one and all. And uh, our defense usually carries us. And again, you know, we made free throws. We made threes. We're one of the better three-point shooting teams in the league. We go 16 for 18 down the stretch from the foul line. That's, you know, really good sign for us. And, uh, you know, able to get able to get wins. Brian. 
Yeah, Steve, kind of going off that, there was a stretch there in the second half. It was 16 minutes where no team led by more than three points. Tight game throughout. You guys had some struggles in winning close games early in the season. It seems like the last two games you guys have pulled out a really close game. So is that encouraging for you to see that when games are coming to crunch time, you guys are able to pull it out? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously, this whole league, every game is tight and close. But, you know, we learned a lot from those games, too. I know, you know, nobody wants to hear that, but that's the journey. And the league is tough. you got to try to figure it out. It's a 40-minute league, 40 minutes every game. You guys see them all every game. Very few games are decided by more than a couple of possessions. And, you know, you got to be able to make those plays. And, you know, just proud of our guys. you got to make free throws. you got to do well on both ends of the floor. It's not just on the defensive end. Um, in order to beat all these ranked teams. And, you know, Wisconsin's as good as any team we've played. I think, you know, Greg Gard does a great job. This team is elite. They don't turn it over. They take good shots. Um, they got two of the leading scorers in the conference. So, you know, you got to play really well. And, you know, please, we've been able to string it together. And we got another tough one coming up here uh, in a couple of days. Benjamin, you're up. Steve, you put Ron back in the game with two fouls with about 11 minutes to go in the first half. Was that a gut decision um, to make that move? And what did you like how he what he gave you down the stretch? It seemed like yeah, he really he, lifted your offense. Yeah, he really did. He had a great night um, on both ends of the floor, too. Um, I love it when he's active. He was rebounding. He was defending. He gets to the free throw line, brings another dimension. But I trust those guys. I played, you know, Caleb. I play him with fouls. I play Paul with fouls. I play Gio with fouls. So, um, trust them and they got to make good decisions. Sometimes some of those decisions are out of their hands, but for the most part, they try to do a really good job of being focused and locked in. Made a couple defensive adjustments, moving him around, played a little bit more zone. So we did some good things too to, you know, kind of protect him a little bit. But, uh, you know, Ron, Ron was good. He was good all night and uh, we needed every point from him and every rebound. Last few for coach, Bobby. Steve, in this little winning streak here, you've been you've been prepared for three very different teams. Illinois is also a, a unique team to prepare for. What do you think has been key to be able to adjust to these different styles of plays and, and coming out with a win? I mean, the guys just are focused and they've done a good job just forgetting about everyone and all, you know, all, all the rest takes care of itself. So we do a great job preparing. And, and I, well, Brandon Knight is as good a prep guy, Carl Hobbs, TJ Thompson, as there is in the country. So it really, my assistants do a terrific job, and we don't have a lot of, a lot of time usually to figure stuff out. We have an NCAA day off tomorrow, so we're not going to get a lot of time. To the game, but uh, we'll be planning. Those guys do a really, really good job, and, you know, I'm really lucky to have, you know, the staff that I have. So um, tip of the hat to those guys, and that's why we're in the position we're in because the job that they do in preparing us. Last one, Jerry. Steve, uh, this is the first time Rutgers ever has beaten three straight top 25 opponents. I spoke with uh, with Tom Young yesterday, who I know you know, and I uh, said he really enjoys watching your team play. What's it like for you guys to make history like this and also to have someone of Tom Young's stature say something like that? Well, I mean, first of all, he was the greatest coach, you know, obviously at Rutgers, and he's a wonderful person. So I was blessed through Coach Boylan, who I miss every day, you know, to get to know him and to talk with him on the phone and to get him to meet him personally. Um, you know, I, I, I admire him a great deal. So, well, you know, I'm glad he said good things. I try to run a great program. I try to have good guys. I try to give these guys the cores that they need to win. And I, I know he did the same thing. And, um, you know, he obviously did it at a way higher level than me, but, you know, just appreciate anyone saying that. Um, but it's my staff really that, that that does a great job, but we're on to the next one, Jerry. You know how it is. So, yep. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate you guys very much being on. All right. We'll talk to you. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Well, a few of the guys coming up here. If you just give us a few minutes, we'll be right back.
Hey guys, we got Paul Mulcahy here. Reminder to mute when you're not talking and use the raising hand feature. Um, we'll open it up with questions. Start out with Jerry. Hey Paul, congratulations, nice win. Thank you, appreciate it. What's it tell you about this team uh, that they were able to follow up two home wins of that magnitude with an effort like this on the road in a place like Wisconsin? Uh, yeah, I think it shows growth, uh, toughness, uh, togetherness, stuff we've been working on. Um, and, and guys are, are, are playing for each other and playing hard 40 minutes. So I'm proud of everybody. Bobby? Paul, you guys came out with a hot start today. What was clicking early for you? Um, I mean, the ball was just going in. Uh, I think that's what a lot of people consider a hot start. But I think defensively, uh, we were pretty connected. Um, we were taking good shots. Uh, and we were getting downhill and attacking. So, Brian, Paul, there was a 16 minute stretch in the second half where no, neither of the teams went up by more than three points, really KG game the whole time. You guys have struggled in close games early in the season. You've now won two games either by a close score or managed you know, a close score. What does that show you about the growth of this team that you're able to pull out games like this, especially in a tough environment like, like the Colts? Yeah. Uh, like coach Pike says, it's hard to win in the big 10. Uh, every team is a very good team. Um, and I'm just proud of the growth that we're showing, uh, something that we all knew that we have within us and uh, just continue to build on that. So, Bobby? Paul, do you feel like this team is really gaining momentum over these last three wins? Uh, can you feel it each time you step on the court? Yeah, I mean, winning is always nice. Uh, guys are in better moods and stuff, but uh, it's going to be really important to uh, stay level-headed, not get too high or too low, um, and just keep – getting better, uh, doing what we're doing, um, and just competing, focus on competing. Brian? Paul, you guys play Illinois on Wednesday. You guys are a game and a half behind them for first place in the Big Ten. I, I, how hard is it off this three-game win streak, going to a situ situation like that, to not get too swept up in everything that's going on, just like you didn't get swept up in the negative, how hard is it to not get swept up in, in the positive? For sure. Uh, it goes both ways. Um, I didn't know that. I don't think a lot of the guys know that we're not, we're really just focused on what we can control and our, us playing. We don't know what other teams are going to do. Um, like I said, we're focused on competing for 40 minutes um, and, and, and we'll live with the results. So. Jerry. Paul, what can you say about Caleb's defense? What's it like watching him defend this when you're out there on the court? Caleb is a dog. I was just saying in the locker room, there was a play where I think he might have got like three steals in the same possession. Um, no one works harder than him in our program uh, out, of, out of all the athletes. Um, I let, he's six seven. He guards the best player every single night. Um, he doesn't complain. He just competes. Um, he doesn't get a lot of pub, but he's a dog, and I firmly believe that he's the defensive player of the year. So. And one more for you for me, and that is what – what do you want to tell people out there about what it's like to be coached by Steve Peichel and the hand he's had in helping you guys reach this point? Yeah, uh, I'm Pikes is, is, uh, he's one-on-one -on -one for sure. Uh, he spends more time than anybody in the APC, uh, film. He's always watching film. He's always, um, adding stuff, tweaks, things that he sees. Uh, he works with us, stuff that we see. Um, he doesn't care like if we miss a shot or if we turn the ball over. We just got to get back and, and play hard. And uh, I'm really grateful to be playing for a coach like him. All right. Thank you, guys. We're going to have Ron Harper Jr. in a sec. Thanks, Paul. Hey guys, we got Ron here. We'll do the same uh, same thing as well. Jerry, start it off. Hey Ron, congratulations. Thank you, appreciate it. What What does it say about this team that you're able to come off two great home wins with a focus to play like this in an environment like Wisconsin? We're real resilient. We knew today it was going to be an easy game. But I feel like we really fought through adversity well and responded. And you know, we really executed the game plan. We came in here and we knew what we had to do, and I feel like we really executed on it.
Bobby Darren. Ron, you had some early foul trouble and were able to come back and be effective. Uh, did you play a little differently? Was that in the back of your mind? No, you know, I feel like I picked up those two fouls early just trying to play aggressive, trying to get myself into the game. And I feel like Coach Pagel knew that, so he felt comfortable putting me out there with two fouls. And I knew I had to play a little less aggressive in order not to pick up my third. But I played smart out there. I was still playing hard. I was still playing aggressive. I just had to tone it down a little bit and not put myself in positions to get, to get more fouls. Aaron Brightman. <laughs> Hey, Ron, uh, what is the evolution of Opomo Kehi, just the way he's been the last two weeks and uh, maybe what you've said to him and, and how it's impacted this team? Paul's well, been playing great. You know, he got riled the Big Ten player of the week, and I'll take that to the grave. But he, he just, after that Northwestern game, I just saw some ultimate confidence coming from number four. And I knew he had it in him all along. And he, he had that one really good game, and he's carrying it with momentum. And every time he steps on the court, his confidence is growing. I can see it in practice. I can see it in a weight room. Uh, you know, everything's flowing for Paul right now. So we just got, we just got to keep, keep him positive. We just got to keep him going. And, you know, as a team, we love to see him evolve as a player, especially late in the season when we need it. Jerry, Ron, give people an idea of what it's like to be coached by Steve Peichel and how he's helped you guys, you know, weather the ups and downs of a basketball season. It's great. You know, I feel like Coach Peichel really trusts us. He trusts us to call plays. And he, he really kept us in the game today, calling some key timeouts, you know, telling us that we got to get stops on defense and we were focusing on offense a little bit too much. And, you know, Coach Pike's great. He, he just wants us to play hard, rebound, defend, and he, he's going to let us play on the offensive end. So it's great playing for a coach like that that has so much trust in you. And it showed today, you know, we played real freely. We played with a lot of confidence. And, you know, that's the team I know. Brian? Ron, you guys just beat th three ranked teams in a row in, in a week. You just beat a top 15 team on the road. You're a game and a half away from first place in the Big Ten, and you're playing the leaders of the Big Ten on Wednesday. How hard is it not to get swept up in all of this emotion, which I'm, I'm sure it is given, coming from uh, this week? Well, we still got so much more to accomplish. Like I tell these guys, every time we step on the court, it's a great opportunity. We're going through a little bit of a gauntlet right now. We're playing a lot of teams in the upper half of the Big Ten, and we like it that way. You know, we like going into games being the underdog. And when everybody at least expects it, we like coming out on top. So we got Illinois on Wednesday. That's the focus. We're going to rest up, watch the film, not get caught up. Never too high, never too low. Because if we would have told you guys we'd be in this position, we lost the team in the beginning of the season, everybody would have laughed. So we, we know where we are. We know what kind of team we are. And we're just going to keep fighting. Last few for Ron, Bobby. <laughs> Ron, what's been – is there anything been different over these last three games against these ranked opponents? Uh, what's really gone into those victories? Our preparation has been great. You know, the starting five, we kind of took it into ourselves. We told each other that in a lot of those losses, we're digging, we're digging ourselves in a hole those first four or five minutes. And we're asking the bench dudes to do a lot. So we're, we're kind of taking it on ourselves to start quick and start better. And we've been doing that the last three games. And we just want to carry the momentum into the beginning of the game, into a whole 40-minute basketball game. Because, you know, at Northwestern, we dug ourselves a hole and we ended up coming back. Same thing at Nebraska. Coach Pago always tells us it's a 40-minute league and we got to play all 40 minutes to win. And that's what we did today. We'll wrap up with Brian and then Jerry. Uh, Ron, it seems like Caleb was on every inch of the floor on the defensive end, just wrecking up every play. Just when you have a guy that is all over the place defensively like that, how much security does that give you that even if you make a little mistake, he's, he could be there and kind of help you out? I'll tell you one thing. It feels good playing with a defensive player. To you. You, know, you know, he's always going to have your back. You know, he's always going to fight for you. He's always going to get on loose balls, rebound, and play his tail off on the defensive end. And Caleb is one of the main guys. He's telling us no matter what happens on offense, play defense and, you know, get stops. And he has six steals today. He comes up big in huge spots. And he, he's so underappreciated, I feel like. And we, we need Caleb to win. We need him playing that level of basketball. And he's so capable of it. And he's just a great defender and great teammate to play with. Last one, Jerry. Ron, we got to get you votes on these player of the week, player of the year ballots. <laughs> yeah, All right, yeah. let's, my, my question is this. Um, this. The way you're playing now, has this team always had this in it, or is this an evolution and a team that's gotten a lot better over the course of a season? I feel like we really had it in us the whole way. We met bumps in the road, as, as does everybody. And we embrace our scars, we embrace our battle scars, and we carry it into the next game, and we look to create great memories. And today, told the guys, just let, let's be a part of history. Let's let's make a great memory here in Madison, Wisconsin. And when no one expects us to do it, let's win. So this team has gotten better since the beginning of the season. I think it's just a product of the season growing, the season getting longer, and we're going to continue to get better. We know we could have did things differently, better uh, during the game today. So we're going to watch the film. We're going to devour the film and see what we can do better. And we're going to try to carry this momentum into, into the Illinois game on Wednesday. Thanks a lot, Ron. Really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. We really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Chris.
Yep. Thank you all. Take care.